Hi, welcome back to Math Smash. I'm glad you could join us. In this video, we're going to be looking at division strategies, partitioning. Here's our vocabulary. Division. There's our, an example of a division question. Dividend is the number that comes at the beginning of a division question. Divisor is the number that comes after the division symbol. And quotient is the number that is usually referred to as the answer. All right, partitioning is when we take a number and we break it up into two parts. And our first example question, 84 divided by 4. Okay, so since we're looking at dividing by 4, we should write the multiples of 4 down the side, and I'm going to partition 84 into 10s and 1s. And you can see that I've got my 80 here and my 4 here. And... I'm going to uh, just think, right, well, 8 divided by 4 is 2, so that means that 80 divided by 4 must be 20. So I'm going to write 80 divided by 4 equals 20. And you can see my 80 there is double 40, which is 10 times 4 in the multiples of 4. And 4 divided by 4 is 1. So I take my 20 and my 1, I add them together, that gives me 21. So 84 divided by 4 is 21. 96 divided by 4 Again, we have 4, so we're going to write the multiples of 4 down the side here. I'm going to partition 96 into 10s and 1s. I've got 90 and 6 here. And 4 doesn't go evenly into 6, so I'm going to take a set of 10 from the 10s column. I'm going to make that 80 now, and I'm going to slide this 10 over to the 6, and that's going to turn that into 16. And again, I'm left with 80. So remember what we did before. 80 divided by 4 is 2. So sorry, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So 80 divided by 4 is going to be 20. So I've got 80 divided by 4 is 20. And we'll be using that 20 later. And I've got 16 on the other side. Well, 16 is on the multiples of 4 lists. So I know that that's 4. So I take my 20 and my 4. I add them together. And that's going to give me 24. So that means that 96 divided by 4 is 24. Okay, practice question. 63 divided by 3 and 98 divided by 7. So our first one, 63 divided by 3. Uh, again, we start with writing our multiples of 3 down the side. I break 63 into 10s and 1s. And... Again, I look at 6 divided by 3 is 2, so 60 divided by 3 is going to be 20. All right, and again, 60 is double 30, which is 10 times 3, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. So I'm going to use the 20 and the 1 here, add them together, and that's going to give me 21. So 63 divided by 3 is 21. And our last practice question, 98 divided by 7. Again, our seven multiples of seven down the side, and I've broken 98 into tens and ones. I'm going to move a set of 20 out of the tens column, and I'm going to make that now 70, and the 8 is going to add to the 20, so it's going to give me 28. And again, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to think, right, well, 7 divided by 7 is 1, so 70 divided by 7 is going to be 10. So there's my 70 divided by 7 equals 10. And 28 divided by 7 is 4. Okay, so there's my uh, 28 divided by 7. That's going to give me 4. And I take the 10 and I take the 4 and I add them together. It gives me 10 plus 4. That's going to give me 14. Okay, so 98 divided by 7 is 14. All right, thank you very much for joining us. Stay safe, stay healthy. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Take care.